I had to have student help to make this project, so that was something that I had in mind from the beginning. I had hoped that I would have funding to start it out, and the grant opportunities that came up, we didn't, uh, we didn't receive grants yet. We're still, there's still some others we're planning to apply for. Um, but I knew all along there was just no way that I would be able to do this on my own. I mean, I would have to fight the quality. Uh, I would be fighting an uphill battle in terms of getting any kind of quality footage because of the amount of work that goes into just setting up something as simple as a, as a sit-down interview. So uh, I always had that as part of the vision, and uh, the students that have uh, the small crew that we put together for this project have been absolutely tremendous. Um, you know, uh, I've had no issues in terms of people not showing up for shoots. Um, you know, the kind of classroom problems that I tend to have uh, when I teach regular courses, you know, people skip out a lot, um, but that hasn't happened with this team. They've been, uh, they've just been exceptional. They've done, they've done really good work. Um, and I hope they're learning from it as well. I think that just being around it and seeing how this is done uh, can be useful for them as well. But yeah, they, they've just been an absolutely outstanding team. One of the things that I think the Lumbee tribe is really appreciative of is that students are leaving campus and interacting with them and seeing them. And it's really sort of opening up a dialogue about stereotypes and misconceptions the campus community has about the local community and vice versa. So to have students you know, holding the cameras and helping ask questions and be involved allows each other to be seen. So it puts two groups together that normally wouldn't be put together, which is, it's happening more and more. So I think that's a really positive outcome of the film. And secondly, I think um, for the students, it's really to get them off campus and to see the world outside the parameters of this sort of safe space that we call campus life here and to, to see what it's like, you know, people here at UNCP, what is UNCP all about? What do we do with this 125 year history? And how do we see it at work every day? I initially got involved with it because I'm from the area, I'm from Robinson County, and I overheard Dr. Hutchison mention it, so I told him I was interested. So I just wanted to get involved because, again, it's my area. I'm not from here, so I never really knew much about Lumbees or Robinson County or Robinson County, anything like that. Um, and from being on campus, I never really learned much because uh, the Lumbees that I do know, I don't, I don't know a lot, but the ones that I do know, they don't really talk about the tribe often, I guess. Or, but what I have learned, um, they're a really tight-knit community. Not even just people in the county, but the tribe as a whole and the people in the county, they're, they're really close and they are, they're like a family. 